Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Man, I miss my classroom. I would normally have a bookshelf back here and just all of my robotics things in my class, but I'm here at home in Tennessee. And today's video, it's gonna be about those of you participating in Super Powered this year for 2022, your first Lego League new theme for this year. So I have a couple of questions to throw out at you, a little bit of my opinion and I just, I just want you guys to just fill up this comment section so we can just have a big old discussion about it. So the question is, how are you guys dealing with, how do you like the new double launch area for this year? I thought it was very intriguing. Um, so we have the both sides have the home and the launch area. And so now you can have two technicians on either side. I just want to throw that out and say, how are you guys dealing with that? How are you liking it? Um, you know, bad, good. Um, let me just go ahead and say, in years past, you know, we used to have a debate like, you know, two technicians, how do we get the other uh, team involved? And then we thought, okay, maybe first round these two, the next round these two. And so now that issue can kind of be resolved where you know you if you have four team members you can involve everybody in the robot game so to me I kind of like it. it it alleviates some of that hey what about us and I don't know but then you have that other aspect too where the team has to figure this problem out like how do we get more people involved in the robot game but I want to know what you guys think so how do you you know how are you guys dealing with that double launch area? You know, you can launch it from one and send it to the other, and you can have four people at this table. So, I don't know, throw it down. And then the other one, you can you can always tell year to year that they're trying to reward teams that have a smaller robot with less attachments. Because this year, if again you can your robot can fit in one launch area and it's under 12 inches, you guys get that 20 point bonus. So I'm throwing this out to you guys. Will your team, you know, make that 20 point point bonus by everything fitting in that one launch area and under 12, you know, you have to be under 12 inches. But will all of your things fit in one launch area? And that's in years past, we would have been a, but you know, we didn't have that rule back then. So if, you know, if we were competing this year, we would definitely try to, like a lot of teams, keep it simple. Usually sometimes, you know, that's better. So you don't have a million things to think about, but I don't know. It's going to be up to you, your team on deciding how do you guys, you know, work this out. So I'm throwing out those two questions to you guys. Come on, shoot and fire back to me. What do you think about the two launch areas, having four technicians, and what do you think about that 20 point bonus for having everything fitting into that launch area? Um, I'm super excited for you guys. I wish I could be participating this year, um, but unfortunately, you know, it's gonna have to possibly wait. Uh, we'll see if I can get connected to a first Lego league team that's doing challenge this year here in Tennessee and before I go I'm just throwing this out here I've done this before I am having a first Lego League class on out school um, it's just going to be a chance for us to talk about the super powered year uh, and you'll sign up for the class and hopefully you know if you sign up there'll be a lot of you that will talk to me and we'll talk strategy we'll talk any questions that you have about being on in a first Lego League team, and it's going to be awesome. You just sign up, uh, parent, you know, ask your parents to sign you up, and hopefully we'll have a great time. So check the description. There's a link uh, to sign up for the super powered first Lego League class that I will be hosting on Out School. So hopefully you guys are having fun right now. It just turned October. And things are raring to go. Um, some of you, maybe your schedule is putting this off until, you know, December, the new year. I'm not sure. But hopefully you're still having fun, you know, having fun being on a team. 
and this is just going to be an exciting year. Okay, guys? I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.